Mike with New Way Ag. I'm excited to show you guys the T60X, my first impressions of the T60X. So we're just gonna start and kind of go around it. And when I see something, I'll point it out. First off, with the big lights. So T60X comes with big bright lights and those really help for night flying. And then we're just gonna hop right into the FPV camera. Check out this FPV camera. This FPV camera is fixed but it has a gimbal setting just like a normal gimbal. It does it digitally. So it would have like a fisheye cropped in to give you that feel of gimbal. So if I pull down the gimbal, it still will react like that. I really, really like this because I have my L3 button set as a hotkey to look down. And the second I push that, it is like very, very fast. The FEV at night is unbelievable. I've never seen anything like it. You can clearly see up to like 200 feet away when you're doing night operations. And then up front here as well, you got the antennas for your reception. The reception on this drone is insane. Then you got your vision sensors up here. These cameras are helping you to auto obstacle avoid. So it's going to use not only the radar, but the vision to figure out what shape is that obstacle that is trying to get around. Since we're in front of the drone, we're gonna show you these fins. So the battery has fins in it. Actually, I have to mention, if you look here, overall on the drone, this is obviously the front portion of the drone. You have your battery up here where the drone is moving forward, that wind is coming through and keeping that battery cool. Really good idea there. We'll talk about the battery here in a little bit, but let's drop back down here. The pumps on the tank are in front of the drone, not behind. The reason they did that, I believe, is for cooling of these pumps because the drone is usually flying forward and that wind is coming across those pumps, so it's keeping those pumps cool. It's almost like they kind of shifted all these things and uh, flipped it around because when I first looked at this unit, it's not like that. Up here, this is your radar, radar sensing for 360. RTK pucks up in here. Also, really, really big tank. You're looking at a 60 liter tank. So it can carry, it's right around 15.9 gallons fluid in there. This is the liquid tank. It has a big 80 liter dry spreader tank. Really easy to take off. You take these hoses off on both sides and you pop off your electrical system. You pull out the liquid tank and you drop in your dry tank put it down in there, plug it in, it can be a lot more accurate. If you have to change your auger size, because say you're doing a smaller finer seed, you just pop off the auger in the back, you open two latches, pull it out, pull your auger out, slide in your other auger. So it has three different size of auger. It has large, a medium, and a small for those different seed sizes. So the spreader on this, I am really excited about it, and the accuracy on you unloading your load is much better because of the auger system. Let's talk about the battery. I really, really like this battery setup. Look at this. This battery is hooked in. I can just pull on this handle. The moment I pull on it, it's actually loosing it from right here. And then dropping it in, I'm not worried about it because look at these big terminal, battery terminals. Has these two heavy duty guide. Those guides helps your battery slide right down across that. So really good system for the battery. I like that a lot. On the T60X, you're looking at a 40,000 milliamp battery. It is heavier. I don't know that I like that about it. You're looking at about 35 pound battery. So if you start pulling this thing out, you know, through the day, it's gonna get heavy. I don't know, it's just something to deal with. You want a bigger drone, you're gonna have to have a bigger battery. Don't really like that it's 35 pounds, but we'll work around that. The T60X, has only four motors, bigger motors, heavier propellers, the arm locking mechanism, nice locking, has sensors in it to know if it's unlocked. You can know if it's unlocked and it won't let you take off. And you guys will see here, we have a four nozzle setup. Now they don't come out of the box with a four nozzle setup. We added this to the T60. Coming right down through uh, past the motor onto the ESC. The ESC is huge. I seen it in pictures and I was like, man, that looks big. But when I'm here, I have a pretty big hand. I don't know how you, a little weird here, talking about hands, I can palm a basketball. But look at that, that is how big that ESC is. Huge cooling, not a problem. You got the fins coming down so the wind of the propellers pushing down through here. I really do like that we have bolts instead of little Allen screws holding on our propellers. 
much better idea. Honestly, I like a lot of things about the T60X. Talked about the radar in the front, you have a radar in the back, and then arms on the back are the same way. If you look at the shape of the drone itself, it has a steeper angle on the frame of the drone. That's basically it on the T60X. Some of the specifics of it, the pumps are bigger, so it's going to be able to pump out a lot of fluid for you guys. Okay, well, there you go. That's my first impressions of the T60X. You know, you're going to get a bigger tank with the T60X. You're going to get a better FPV camera. The connection is really, really good. Brighter lights. T60X is going to be another good model to bring in to the market for those people that want to get a lot of acres done. I will be bringing you guys a video here after this talking of the differences between the T60X and the T50, but that's coming on another one. That's all I got for you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, and we'll see you guys on the next one.